Well, it's a chilly morning at 6.15 a.m. on Saturday, September 7th, 2024. It's uh, 55 degrees. Sun's not up yet. Sun will be coming up another 15 minutes. But uh, I'm just up early today because I need to prepare for hauling bales from the hay field, maybe. My brother can get his tractor fixed today. Uh, and, uh, we might haul bales. We'll see. But I'm up early to hook up trailers to my truck. Okay. Uh, I'll catch you later. Well, not sure where the sun's going to be coming up, but I'm guessing it's somewhere over in this area. Yeah, September is usually over here. It comes up. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, it won't be much of a sunrise because of all the trees. Uh, that's just the way it is on this east side. Anyway, I'm up now. Grass is still. Um, I have to wait for my brother to let me know when he'll when he'll be ready. Originally, he wanted to do it at 7 a.m., but then he said he couldn't get his tractor started, so he's got to go into the some place to see if he can get it fixed. Okay, I'll catch you later. Well, the sun's up. Right about there somewhere. Yeah. Hard to see uh, behind the trees, but it's there. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to see. Anyway, still a little chilly. So I'm going to be hooking up the trailer pretty soon and getting that ready. Yeah. Brother's tractor won't start, so he's got to figure out what's wrong with it first. That's 7.30 a.m. now, so sun's bright, so now I can get some work done. Uh, I didn't mention it before, it's uh, 7.40 a.m. on Saturday, September 7, 2024, and... Uh, it's a chilly morning, still around 54 degrees, and uh, feels good after all that heat. And it's supposed to warm up again next week, so we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to be hooking up that six bale trailer uh, to prepare for when my brother tells me he's got his tractor working again. We can start hauling bales. All right, let's go hook it up. Uh, before I hook that up, I'm going to move that pile of limbs there over to the big pile. I'm going to move it. Should have done it a long time ago. I'm going to move these limbs over there to that pile. Okay, let's go. I'm going to clean that up. And I moved it all over to there. Well, all I'm gonna do is hook that up and pull it out. And then uh, check the tires for air if I need it. Them tires held up pretty good. I kept them off the ground. Got them on that board there. Same one on the other side. Okay, let's uh, hook it up and move it out. Well, I checked the tire pressure in the trailer and uh, tire pressure is the same as it was when I parked it there in June. Yeah, so I didn't lose any pressure, so that's good. So I'm ready to go as soon as I get, my, get a text from my brother saying he's ready. Okay, everything hooked up. I was going to go down and check the cattle. Check their hay down there. I already got the thing hooked up. 
Uh, oh, I guess I'll take the horse, ATV. Yeah, I can do that. Well, they didn't. I think they rolled that one. I had it over there, and they rolled it over there. Those two they didn't eat much. Those are the old hay. All the cattle are over there by the gate. I think they want to go out, but they're locked in. So, but that bale there, that new bale, they got that. They got that flattened already. But they'll still. Eat, there's still plenty there to eat. Yeah, I'll, I'll open that gate when uh, I bring the first load down. No sense opening it now. I'm trying to tell if that red one, that red one is on this side of the fence. I think she is. Yeah, I think she is. I know she was in here last night when I locked them in, so. Anyway, that's, that's what I got. They're, they're secure until we haul bales. There's the new bale. Yeah, they're, they're still eating on that. <laughs> they even rolled it out over to here. Yeah, they rolled it out all the way. They're still, the core, the center of the bale is right there. So They have to got plenty to eat on that. And if they want to, looks like they rolled that one. But the, and the other one behind it, they're still in the same place. Anyway, that's a... Uh, I'm going to go back to the house and wait for my brother to call. Or text me. Oh, this will be a change of plans. Brother called the uh, dealer ship and uh, where he bought the tractor. And there's some kind of computer error code or something. So uh, we won't be able to get it fixed today. So he was said we'll, we'll try again next week. Or whenever. Whenever the conditions are good again, or after he gets his tractor fixed and he has time to do it for hauling. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and park it over there, out of the way. It's ready to go. It's just a matter of timing. All right, I'm going to unhook it and drive back out to the pasture and open the gate to the cattle so they can... Room around the rest of the pad. Oh, I'm gonna fix that oiler too since I'm out there. Let's see, what do I need? I might need a, a piece of rope or something. We'll see. I'll figure out something to fix that oiler. Well, I guess we'll, that trailer will sit there uh, until we're ready to haul bales. All right. Hopefully, it'll be next weekend or soon after. Well, that's where I had the trailer parked, and then since I'm headed out to the big pasture anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and bring some buckets of rock. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some rock around that area there, especially on the on the approach here and approach there and and on the sides, so the board don't move. Yeah, I don't want the boards to move because they're they're just right on top of the rock and they they slide around pretty good. So that's what I'll do. I'll get some rock and I'll, I'll put some rock on the approach on both sides and on both sides of the board to hold the boards in place when I back onto them. And when I'm done using the trailer, this is my uh, long term storage parking spot for the big trailer. Okay, let's head out to the big pasture and let the cattle out so they can get to the other side. Oh, looks like the cattle are waiting for me over there by the on the other side of the creek. I'll open that gate there and and uh, the bull. I think the bull and the highland cattle are over there, past those little, little dead tree on the other side of the creek. So yeah, I'll be happy to get to the other side. And uh, there's the. Bills. I'll have to watch this week and see if they eat any of that. I might have to, I'll probably have to give them some more hay. Hay bales in here. When I lock them in again, when we do haul bales. So we'll see about that. It would have been a good day to haul bales today because it's nice and cool. I don't think it's going to reach above 80 today. Probably 75. 
Anyway, I'm going to be working on that uh, cattle grub, fixing the end there so I can attach it to the other side. And the uh, cattle are over there. The bull and the highlanders. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to move the, I guess the only reason I need to move them to the, to the, near, near the house, because that's where they've always been. Uh, and I only brought them out here to get bread, but I want something there to eat all the grass and weeds. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably move them again, back here again next year, and hopefully they'll have calves next year too, before I move them back. We'll see. Okay. All right. I'll let me uh, get to work on that cattle rub. Uh, they're ready to come through the gate, but I'm going to leave it closed while I'm working on that oiler. I don't want them bothering me, so I'll leave them here for now. There's a there's one down in the pond uh, in the pool down there. Okay. Okay, let me uh, let me get to work on that oiler. Now these cattle, they, they hang out, always hang out together because they raise together. And the uh, other Highlander, oh, there's the old hay bales that I gave them. They didn't touch that very much except tear them up a little bit. And then uh, there's the three Highlanders with the bull. Uh, they don't. They like to keep somewhat uh, separate from the other cattle because they weren't raised with them. Okay, but I'm headed to there to fix that oiler. I call it an oiler, cattle rub, something. Well, that's the oiler I gotta fix. A rope there on the end. I got something I can put on it, attached to it. I just hope it works. And uh, I was walking over here and I saw that little, I thought that was a piece of dead grass. <coughs> yeah, right there, but it's not. It's like the, the end of that rope there, how it's all straight out. Uh, there's an old oiler buried in there. You can see part of it over there, the stuffing's coming out. I guess it got buried over the years. And because <laughs> uh, uh, the silt runs down from here. I mean, every time it rains, water runs down here and brings the silt and then it flattens out here so all the silt is deposited here covers up covered up that oiler but the but the uh, end of the rope is sticking up <laughs> looks like a dead grass okay let me work on that and see what I can do with it well don't know if it's going to hold but at least it's something now I got to get it attached somehow well, I got it pulled up, but I didn't attach it. I just got another rope uh, hold, pulling it up there so I can work on it. Now I have to now I have to use this, get that in there, and then I'll be done. So let's see if I can do that. Well, I got the chain hooked to the yellow rope, so I'm going to untie the white one now. Well, I got the yellow one tied. That's the one go. The yellow one goes to the uh, cattle rub. And I, since I already had that white cord uh, tied on there, I decided to go ahead and take some of it and then wrap it around there too as a little extra support. Extra support. Extra. Extra. Extra support. Okay. Oh, now it's up. Well, I'm back in business. Yeah. It looks like the looks like I lost some of the things that are hanging, but that's okay. As long as there's something to rub on, that's good. All right. Now I can open the gate. Looks like all the cattle are grouped together mostly. There's one over there, and that's her calf. And uh, there's one missing. I think that's the one that was in the water. Oh, there's some down in the creek. Yeah. Okay. 
open the gate and see what they'll go through. Look at bullies hiding in the shade of the pear tree. I'm gonna go check that pear tree, see if there's any any fruit on it. Yesterday when I before I closed this gate yesterday I moved the salt block that was on that tire to uh, to over here. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Yeah. And there's that there's the one that was in the water before. She's still there. That's a heifer. And I hope she got bred this year. She's old enough and big enough. Okay. That's the hay I gave him yesterday. The two old bales. Actually that that one on the on there. I had put it over there and they rolled it that far. The other good bale was over there, they already scattered it. And there's the rest of them. I'm gonna open this gate up for them so they can go go out there. There's a really nice cool breeze coming in from the north. But the sun's still pretty warm so the, uh, the scout's still enjoying the shade. Until I chased her away. <laughs> yeah. She didn't feel safe around me. And the rest are out grazing again. Yeah, there's still plenty of grass here. Yeah. Let me go check that pear tree, see if I can find anything. There's the Mama Highland. Uh, I don't want to disturb her, but I gotta get underneath there to see if I can find any pears. There were some on there in the spring, but they probably fell off by now. Okay. And there's the rest of them. Well, that heifer came out of the water. Are you gonna come join the rest of them, or are you gonna hang out there by yourself? Yeah, she's gonna come join the her group, her herd. Right, girl? Oh, I like her. I like her color. I like her black points, which means that the nose, black nose, black hooves, and black tip of the tail. Switch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, I just realized there. Uh, the iron weeds are, some of them are going to seed again, right there, that white one, a couple over here, but they're not too thick. I mowed, I mowed this thing twice. First time I mowed it was with a bush hog. Second time I mowed it was with the lawnmower, I think. Yeah, lawnmower. Uh, I should have cut it again, but I didn't feel like it. It's too hot, probably. Anyways. It's almost too late. I could mow it again, but it's not that important. I like these, I guess they're blue or purple. Yeah, purple. I like these purple flowers. I'm not sure if they're ironweed or not, but they look like ironweed. But they're, uh, they're probably crowding out the grass, but at least, uh, at least it looks pretty. This ironweed here is tall. It's more of a darker purple. here and it's it's pretty tall I've never did I think that's the yellow stuff I think that's iron we or that's uh, uh what do you call it goldenrod there's some yellow stuff there and this stuff is taking over I can spray this stuff and maybe next year I'll spray it this is that mint that dark green stuff that's that mint here's there's some here there's some more ironweed they already went to see it, so it's too late for them and there's a white flowered ironweed yeah Oh well. Okay. At least they're grazing here. That's good. Yeah, that weed's more of a shorter plant, and it's more of a bluish, bluish color. But I can see there's a lot of them came back. Yeah, a lot of it. Well, I didn't find no pears. Yeah. I thought I saw some in the spring. Yeah, but not this year. 
Yeah, I had ate one last year. I think they fall off. Okay, uh, back to my truck. I'm gonna head to the top, get some buckets of the rock. Two, maybe three, three buckets of rock, and uh, patch up my uh, parking spot for my trailer. My long-term parking spot. Here's some of that blue stuff again, with the blue flower. It must be a short plant because uh, this hasn't been mowed. And uh, there's some over there too, it hasn't been mowed, so it must be naturally short. Oh well, looks pretty. There's a nice view of the cattle there and the one cow under the tree, she never did move. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing there's some grass growing in here too. Uh, okay, let's get my rock and go home. Yeah, I want to fill up four buckets to take home. Well, I got the four buckets full of rock. Now the hard part is lift them onto the truck. Shoveling was hard, but lifting them heavy things onto the truck is even harder. Ah, let's go. Okay, buckets of rock are on the truck. I think they'll ride there on the tailgate. Ah, I got one more thing to check before I get back in my truck. I'm gonna go up there and try to estimate how many more bales I can squeeze in there because whatever I can't put in here I gotta somehow put them up by the house and it's just me and my shadow here today just like every day at least when the sun shines I just realized I already knew it. My shadow only shows up on sunny days. Shadow doesn't do any work when it's cloudy. I'm all by myself when it's cloudy. It's been a while since I set up that trailer. But I haven't fed him any corn. Uh, I need to start doing that. After I get these bales moved or hauled up here uh, by the house, I'll feed him some corn to get him used to going in there again. Because I'm going to have to collect those uh, hot under cattle into September, take them back to the house. And then I, go, then I might sell some or have one uh, process for meat. I'm not sure yet. I might do both. Sell, sell a few and then and, uh, have a, one processed. We'll see. Or when I'm in the shade, the wind is really cool almost cold but it feels good like i said i don't think the high the highs want to be around 75 today maybe less than 80 that's for sure especially with this wind and it feels good in but in the sun the sun's still pretty strong but the wind counteracts it anyway uh i'm going to maintain four cross and the problem here is when it gets to this end uh, my brother's tractor really can't uh, maneuver in there very good to get him in that way. He can put put them in right here because he can go straight in and out. But them two on the side there, uh, you'll have to put them on an angle somehow. So I'll have to estimate how many I'm going to be able to squeeze in there. Uh, my brother, or even me. Could line them up the same way all the way to there. Oh, about, oh, about a good step in because I don't want them close to the gate. Uh, even if they could get them, even we could get them come straight out, I could only get 24 in. But since, since them two rows over there are going to have to somehow be on an angle, I'll be lucky to get 20 in here. I'm going to have 51 bales 
around 50 bales anyway. Ah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, if I could, if I put 20 here, that means I need to get 30, 31 up by the house. But I think I can do it. I've done, I've done 20 up there before. Last year I put 20 up there, so I think I, I can squeeze another 10 in somewhere. And I'll feed them out first, wherever I put them. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Yeah, if I can get 20 up here, I'll be happy. Oh, I remembered to check the north. Uh, and south fences to see if the electric's working and they're both working good so that's one thing less thing I have to worry about well, I'm on my way back to the house so I just stopped to take another look at the kettle look at it oh, that big white calf down there that big white calf it's almost as big as his mama and he's still nursing I think yeah, he's still nursing. Uh, that's probably why he's so big. And she's a good mama, so. And since I don't wean him, I'll let the mama wean him. Like they would do in the wild. Yeah. Okay. Let's head home. Uh, there's a pool of water here next to the bridge. Looks so inviting. Kind of love it. They love to soak in here. I see something in the sand over there, some kind of something white. I don't know what that is. Probably some kind of plastic or styrofoam. Oh well, probably wash away the next flood. Uh, color up there by the tree. Okay, by the gate anyway. Still, one's already on the other side of the gate. So. So well, they'll be all heading out there pretty soon, and I'm headed home. I stopped here to close this gate, but yeah, I guess I'll close it. That's the smart thing to do. Yeah, the fence near the road is working good too. Okay, now I can go home and work on that. Dump my rock where I want it trailer parking area okay I got the rock now I gotta put some at the approach and on both sides of the boards just to hold them in place and here's the before and after well, it's a good thing I brought four buckets I used every bit I think I put too much on this side though because uh, it kind of ran out on this inside here, but it'll still work. It'll still work. Better than nothing. Better than it was before. Okay, I'm done for today. I think. Hopefully with that white rock there, it'll be easier to see where my tires are supposed to go when I back it up. After the hauling's done, they'll haul it. Sometime, hopefully next week and or sometime after that, whenever my brother has time and the tractor's neighbor going by. Yeah. Today would have been a good day to haul bales. But, but, uh, just didn't work out that way. Other head tractor problems, so that's the way it goes. I know how that is. Oh, there were no clouds today. Clear skies. Yeah. That's because it's a uh, high pressure. That's the way, it's, and that's where the cool air came from too. It came from up north. Okay. That's all I can do today. Uh, I pulled a bunch of morning glories off the grape over there. Uh, I didn't see no grapes on it. Yeah. So, it won't be long, I'll probably cut that out. It's got lots of vines growing on it though. It grew up pretty good. I pruned it once this year and 
I should put it again. But I don't feel like it right now. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, I didn't do much today, but I'm still tired. But the cool air really is refreshing though. Okay. That's all I can do today. Okay, catch on the next one. Bye. Yeah, that'll be parked there until my brother's ready to haul bales. Hopefully next weekend. But then next weekend's supposed to be in the 90s, so we might wait a little longer. Yeah, I'd rather do it when it's cooler. Okay, we'll see. Whatever he wants to do, it's okay with me. I'll be in a truck anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. All right, that's all. I think I'll be in a truck, unless my brother-in-law, my brother was going to help today, but uh, my brother's truck problems uh, uh, postpone that. So hopefully my brother-in-law can still drive my brother's tractor uh, when it's time to haul bales. We'll see. All right, catch you on the next one. Bye. Well, it's 2.30 p.m. and it's only 74 degrees, so I was right. It's staying cool today. I think tomorrow is about the same. And then it starts to warm up on Monday. And it'll be up in the 90s by the end of the week and the next week. All right, I think I'll do a barn check before I go in. See what's happening out there, if anything. Hopefully nothing's happening there. I like it that way. No bees and no groundhogs. Well, with this light, with the sun shining, I can see the pears good on this tree and also down there. I, I picked two bucketfuls the other day. I took it to my family and, and gave them some. But, uh, they only took about one bucketful, uh, one bucket. And I put my other bucket in the refrigerator and I've been eating them ever since. Eating about two pairs a day, sometimes four, <laughs> just to get rid of them. Yeah. But I, I gotta, I'll have to pick all the pairs off of those before I bring the cattle back on the ones that are hanging down. Because they'll, they'll, they'll knock them off the limbs and eat the, li eat the tree leaves too. So, yeah. At least, I gotta at least pick the pears off before the cows come back. Okay, let's uh, check the rest of the barn. Well, I don't see, I don't hear any carpenter bees. It's so quiet in here, just the way I like it. So all that spraying I did in spring and early summer really paid off. I don't hear any. I'm still going to spray it this fall because if any anything wants to uh, come in here and hibernate during the winter, I want them to die while they're hibernating. Yeah. That's what I read, that they usually hibernate through the winter in the nests that they built during the summer in the holes. Okay, and there's no groundhog in the, anywhere inside here either, so now i got to check the outside for groundhogs. Well, I don't see any, no, any new groundhog holes. So well, that's good on this end. Well, there's nothing in the trap. But it looks like something's trying to dig underneath there. There, and even farther back there, it looks like there's a hole going down. But I don't think, I don't know if they can get out there. So, I'm going to try to block that with something. See if that prevents them from doing anything. Well, I put some, uh, I put some uh, of the old hay underneath there and I shoved it in that uh, gap underneath. Not so much as a deterrent, but just to tell us something's digging there. Yeah, because if they dig it out or remove it, then I know there's some, there's some activity. They're trying to do something, but they're not coming through the trap because the hole, the hole I put the trap over is on the back side of that trap. I thought they'd come out of there, but there's no hole on the inside, so I don't know. I think something was trying to dig in from out here. That's what I'm thinking. 
So I'll just have to wait and see if any more new activity, any more, if they dig any more around where that, where I stuffed that hay in there. We'll see. I'll just keep checking. The cat, the mama cat. She's down there. Uh, somewhere right there. Anyway, she's hunting for frogs. Yeah. That's what I say, she's hunting for frogs. Yeah. Anyway, I got a nice weed patch for the cattle to come back to. For the cattle to come back to. Phone told me I got low battery, so I need to go back to the house and charge it back up. Look at that tall poplar there. That's a poplar tree. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, there's my two walnuts. Yeah. There's my pear tree. My other pear tree is over there. And, uh, up tree there, and my garden's down there. Uh, yeah. Not much happening on this end, but I got some stuff I got to harvest before the frost on that on that side on that end. Yeah, because the frost will kill it. But it'll be a while. I got. I'll be watching the weather, and uh, when it gets down in the 30s, that's when I'll cut, or even the low 40s. Because you can get a frost in the low 40s too, especially if it's low like this. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Just doing a little scouting around, checking things out. Everything's good. I'll be glad. I'll be glad to see the cattle back in here again. Trying to clean this up. It'll take them a while to knock these weeds down. They'll have all winter. All right, that's all for now. Catch you on the next one. Bye. Well, look at the okra that I let go to seed. There's some nice ones down there. That's the kind that I planted over here. The store-bought ones uh, didn't grow. But these these were homegrown from 2017, just like that. And then uh, I got the seeds out, planted them. And I'll save these for seed too. Even if if I don't use them, I'll Give them, give them away to somebody. Give the seeds away. Cause I don't really, I don't, I can eat okra, but I don't really care for it too much. My wife liked it a lot, though. There's another grouping over there. That one kind of fell over. But yeah, yeah. But there's a lot of seed coming in. So I'll just wait. There's no hurry. If I don't take them in. After they dry up, those will start splitting apart. They'll, they'll expand, like when it gets wet. They'll, they'll split apart and all the seeds fall out. So I gotta get them before that happens. Look at the baby watermelon. I don't know if it's ripe. I got another one I gotta check though. Well, I'm hoping that watermelon's ripe because uh, the vine was dried up. So I'm thinking that's ripe or it's just the plant died. There's, I still see a few leaves in there though, so it's still, the watermelon's still growing, but I don't think it's producing any mel new melons, except for that baby way over there. Well, besides that one, I know is ripe, or at least the vine's dead. There's one there, and there's another one, smaller one up there, plus that little baby one way back there. Oh, I'll have the, those vines are still green, so I'll leave them alone. But that one I'm taking in to see if it see if it's ripe. I'm eating a pear and I picked this watermelon too. I'm gonna chill it before I cut it open though. Uh, it's almost 3 p.m. Nice day. But so I'm gonna just take it easy today, the rest of the day. Uh, I don't know how no. Well, I got fence work to do, but I'm gonna hold off on that till later. I'm in no hurry to do any more fence work. Okay, uh, catch you on the next one then. Bye.